Hi, I'm Tanmay. I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Predis.ai. I'm very excited to see you trying the product out. I thought it would work best if I can just take you through the product quickly. Uh, so the product has two functions. One is generating content. One is competition analysis. For now, I'll just uh, explain how can you generate content with Predis. First thing which I generally recommend everybody to do is from the menu, go to the manage brand section. This is where you can set up a brand kit. So your brand colors, fonts, everything, logos. Once this is set up, uh, the AI will always obey this to generate your content. Uh, in terms of generating content, go back to the content library. This is where all of your generated content would look like. Uh, on the create new option, once you click on the create new button, you see a screen something like this. Now the way this flow works is, there are three steps uh, to choose. First is, what type of content do you want to make? Is it a video and add a single image or a browser? And there are a lot of filters available here in terms of what type of uh, posts you would want to look at. That's one. Now let's say I select a video. I want this style of a video to be made. I can also uh, select multiple videos here if needed, multiple templates if needed. I click on the next button from here. Once I click on next, I see the next set of uh, inputs, which is either I can give a single line input around what type of post to be made, or a script as an input on how this video should be structured or a business as an input. In this case, the AI will actually think of ideas what could be published and then execute on it. You could also give a blog post as an input. The AI will parse that and turn it into a video or a manual post. I'll just keep it on a single idea right now. This is what I want to post about. You can also try different nudges in terms of how do you post. Once I'm happy with this, I click on next. Now this is where you choose what type of assets go within the video. The easiest way is to let the AI choose it. In this case, we go to Pexels and Splash. The AI tries to figure out what would be the right video or a creative for this kind of uh, uh, option which is generated. Or you can go to search by keywords wherein uh, you can ideally search for images or videos by keywords or you can also use your own assets. So within the use my assets section, you can actually upload whatever uh, creatives or images or any brand de uh, details which you have and select that. For now, I'll just keep it at the AI bit and click on generate. So at this point of time, the AI will first make a script for the video which is to be made. Then it will find out good quality videos or images which could be used within this. All of these are copyright free. We get it from Pixels and Splash. So you don't need to worry about copyrights. And then finally turn it into a video. Once the video is made, as I was talking, I can click here to view the caption. The caption again would be in line with whatever is made. So this is how my caption looks like, which I think is fairly good. And if I want to see what is made, I just click on this. It will open up the video within this kind of a view. So you can play the video from here to understand how uh, it is looking out. Uh, in case you want to make any changes, this is how the editor looks like. So you will see the scenes, timelines, the templates, palettes, everything in here. So this essentially is like any other video editor. Next step for you is once you are happy with the video is go to the captions. You could either edit this caption or try and generate more versions of the caption and edit. Uh, step three is hashtags. So we have an uh, entire Instagram hashtag library and the AI will figure out what could be the right hashtags to use with such kind of a content. So it will look at the video, it will look at the captions and suggest everything accordingly. Whenever we show you hashtags, we show them by relevancy or reach. Reach is what we generally recommend if you have a smaller handle, otherwise you can also choose larger hashtags. Choosing hashtags is simple, just tap 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 and the hashtags are set. Last up is suggestions. This is something very interesting and is our AI way of suggesting how best can you improve the performance of this post. So it looks at what is the posting R, what is the length of caption, creative appeal, number of hashtags. Once you are happy with this, the last step is share. Once I click on this share option here, it will actually show me how will my uh, video look on different platforms wherever I'm trying to publish. Let's say you do not want to publish on a certain platform. Select that platform, uh, unselect this from here. So this keeps on getting removed. Let's say I want to publish it only on these three platforms. I go ahead, select the date range and click on schedule. I also have options of publishing save as draft. For now, I'll just click on schedule and that's it. So the flow works. I hope you enjoyed. Please uh, share some feedback. Thank you.